This one I would have loved to keep in my collection, but once you know it, your stolen art has no real value. Uh, it's the value of the artist itself and getting it back to where it's appreciated by the public is really important. And, uh, and part of it is just the thrill of discovery. So here's the, uh, the, the painting. And this is what's called the Priceless Palette of John Corbino. It's not necessarily priceless, but it's really a one of a kind uh, that he did this piece in, um, I think it was probably the 1950s that he did this. His, his New York dealer was Eva Lee. And his agreement with Eva was that, Eva Lee, and you see right here it says to Eva Lee from uh, Corbino. And his deal was that for every painting that, she, if she sold five paintings, he would do a piece and give it to her. And this is the piece that he gave to her in exchange for selling his his works. And then this was, after she passed away, I think it was sold to a Sarasota um, collector, and then she donated to the Fine Arts Society. Now, the time that this uh, was stolen, it was worth about $9,500. How much did you pay for it? Uh, I did get it for $25 uh, at the sale. And um, you know, it was late in the afternoon, uh, almost 12 o'clock, which is kind of late for garage sales, but my route takes me up and around town. And by the time I got to this sale, I was surprised it was still there. And it was amongst you know, some other pieces of art I, I, at the same sale. And I, uh, but I, of course, recognized the job. I thought it was John Corbino from the signature, but I wasn't completely sure, but the quality was there. And, um, and so, and it's just amazing with the horses and the circus figures and John was, his pieces are so amazing in the color that he used and the uh, and the uh, form and, and, and character. And to be on a pallet like this is very, uh, very, very rare. It was sitting in the front bedroom of this little uh, condo unit up at um, Palm Air. And I was sitting in the front room along the, uh, all the paint, all the art was kind of like on the floors, leaning against the wall. And I went in that room and I just, man, so I saw that right away and said, this is something special. And I saw the Corbino name, and that just you know, was, was it, you know. And um, so it was in, in, in the in the most unusual places you'll find great things. And this, of course, was one of the big mysteries of Sarasota: what happened to the missing priceless the priceless palette John Corbino? And I heard that story before. So when I found it, I didn't realize that I had found the special thing because when I did further research, I, after I found it had been stolen, I found that article again. I said, I think I've seen this before because the other story about the second big mystery of Sarasota art is what happened to the 12 Stations of the Cross by Ben Stahl. And he was a great artist in Sarasota, also a good friend of John Corbino and, all, and the 12 paintings that he did that were in their own gallery that was constructed for their use here in Sarasota. Uh, they were stolen in the middle of the night, cut out of their frames, and they've never been found. So my goal is to find those one of these days. <laughs> so. What's it like preparing to go garage sale hunting for things like this? I mean, do you like wear like, uh, you know, <laughs> jeans and a t-shirt or, you know, yeah, what do you do? I, I take my dog and we go out for about four hours from eight till 12 o'clock on Saturday morning. Fridays, of course, are a good time to go, but I have my business. So I, I occasionally get out on Friday. And I like to go to garage sales because that's where things are undiscovered. And sometimes I've been able to inform people of what they have. And, and if it's something you know really special, I'll let them know you know what they're what they're selling. And then sometimes you know they they, they can hold it back. You know, but um, other times I uh, just you know I don't really know. Like John. I didn't know, I, I knew this was something important. I found another painting recent, uh, about three or four years ago, uh, here in Sarasota. It was a $10 piece of art on the wall in this garage, and that recently sold at Christie's in New York City at the uh, uh, Latin American sale for $43,750. <laughs> and so that was one of my best, you know, uh, sales for, um, for treasure hunting. Like I found two Renoir etchings here in Sarasota. Uh, one I sold, and I have, have another one. I have one painting I bought for four dollars at a garage sale, and that's been appraised at seven hundred thousand dollars. But it has provenance issues as well. So it's always important to uh, just keep your eyes open. You, you develop a a, um, a knowledge of things as you find things. So so um, the piece I found that I sold at Christie's recently 
Um, I didn't know anything about that artist. I just knew it was something special. It wasn't until I Googled that artist's name when I got back to my home that I realized he was an important artist. He's like the, his name is Marino Campos and he was the uh, Norman Rockwell of Argentina. And I decided to sell that one because I'm, to insure art is very difficult. Um, uh, you know, you it's, it's even a thirty or forty thousand dollar painting is going to cost you a couple thousand dollars a year of, of a writer on your policy. And stolen art, you know, uh, I think it's called adverse possession. If you find a piece of art that's stolen or or Holocaust art, you know, you push, you find something like that, and you want to give it give it back. I'm not sure if everybody's worried about valuable art. They're only worried about valuable art. And maybe the lesser artists, there's no concern about. But it's always the, the more famous artists that people really, you know, the, the, uh, the, the FBI and people go really search for. But stolen art you know, is, 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 is it's, it's not allowing society to enjoy the art as it, sh as it was intended. And, um, and so it's just fun to be able to get this back.